I've made a very simple table here um, with some numerical values in them and now we can start using the power of Google Sheets to start doing some um, calculating for us. Um, and we're going to use to do, to do that we're going to use the function toolbar and we're going to use autofill. So what we're going to do is we're going to work out what the total for each column is and what the average for each column is by using a formula. So I'm going to click on here in this cell at C10 and I want to total the average for Monday. All formulas in Google Sheets start with an equal sign and we want to use a function called sum which means add up and you can see here that a whole bunch of variant, um, default sum options come up for you. Um, and we're going to just write this ourselves. We're going to open brackets and then we need to give um, Google Sheets the range of cells that we want it to add up. So I'm going to click in cell C3 and I'm going to drag all the way down to cell C9. And look at that. You've got the range here from cell 3 to C cell C9. And then I'm going to close that statement with a bracket and I'm just going to press um, enter. And what it's done now, it's um, filled out. Uh, I'm going to delete that, delete that, don't want that. And so it's come up with 107.158. So we can use our function key here now to reduce that. So you know, when you want it to two decimal places, there we go, so 107.616. Now we can use that um, autofill feature and what we're going to do is we're going to drag across here to Friday and what um, Google Sheets will do will change the C and the C value to D to E to F to G um, and work out the calculation for us and then we'll have to do the decreased decimal sign. Drag that across, oh it's copied that format as well. So now we've now done that for us so we only need to do one column and then use autofill to work out the rest. So now we're going to do the average and do the same thing. So come up to here, equals, and we, because we know what to do the average, and it's a built-in formula. So again, open with a bracket, drag down to here, don't include the total, close with a bracket, and enter 15.3. So we're just going to decrease this down to two decimal places should get a 15.31 use autofill and it will drag it all the way across to here now the beauty about doing stuff like that rather than, is that you can now enter your data in here so let's put a big number in here let's put one two three four in here and watch how the data changes it automatically updates let's delete this one and put 4.6 in here and that you can watch the data change Your, you can add data, change the data, and the formula will always adapt based on the range of the numbers it's being asked to look for. So it's using formulas and using uh, ranges is a great way of empowering how you use Google Sheets.